how does the hyperstructure sporting environment inhibit an athlete's long-term development? I think overall in that um, it sort of focuses a youngster to make choices uh, long before it's necessarily warranted. Um, and particularly from a, a physical and emotional and cognitive standpoint. And um, while there is actually nothing conceivably wrong in sort of um, some, an early engagement in a sport, um, right. in fact that's actually part of the whole multi-sport aspect, mm -hmm. it's the concentration factor. And for some youngsters, that might be um, completely credible and it, it might work for them if you look at all, all children in sport. Sure. But the reality for most of us in the way that we will develop is to have some kind of a broader scope of, of experience. And if one looks right the way through nature as to how mm -hmm. parents in any one of the animal kingdom, how they sort of um, teach and train and provide experience for their offspring mm -hmm. is by having that varied multi, multi um, experience. The other thing for us specifically in sport is that what tends to happen then is we we really drive down very professional, um, very expensive, very demanding programs on youngsters at a time when they're not really that well suited from a whole number of aspects towards that kind of endeavor. The other thing then is we actually ultimately start to reduce our talent pool because we start to excluding various groups of society from that. And if you're really interested in human performance, you want to keep as wide an array of of the population sample involved as long as possible. Um, and then there's the other aspect of human desire. So if you like, the maturing of the drive and passion in a youngster as they really decide what they want to do and what makes them tick as opposed to what their parents or coaches or others who have influence of them when they're young. Mm -hmm. And so for me, really, you know, most of the problems stem around almost this professionalization of child sport that has happened over the last, certainly with increasing vigor the last decade and arguably for the last 25 years or so.